Hey guys, um, this is for a tip on wet shaving. I've started her already and realized I probably should have uh, started showing you guys, but she's matted. You can see those mats a whole lot better now that she's wet, and the owner wants to leave her fluffy. Well, the thing of it is, is she is a good client of mine. I am willing to do this. I only do this for special clients because um, there was a circumstances as to why uh, we didn't get her groomed last time. They were out of the, the country and her their babysitters and my time just didn't mix up. So, what a wet shave is. First of all, you take that matted dog, you throw it in the tub and you wash it. You get a nice clean dog, yes, with the mats, don't worry about that. After I've washed her, I've lathered her with conditioner. So she's covered, this is so that it's all slippery and everything like that. And I've lathered her with conditioner. Now, the thing of it is, when you take electricity in a wet dog, you tend to have some uh, safety issues. You do want to be careful about doing this. I have a foot pedal for my pump. It turns my clippers on. So when I take my foot off, I turn my clippers off. So that's my safety thing. But I'm using a three blade right now because I'm going to try to get and save as much as I can. And I'll show you guys how much hair I actually leave after I do this because I'm going to have to rewash her after I do this. So a wet shave is pretty much you're shaving a wet dog, which gives you the ability to stretch those mats out away from the skin a little bit more and get up underneath them. Um, and I don't go for a perfect cut. It's just mainly to get a good chunk of it off. And she's a talker, so here we go. Where normally I would fight like that, that's probably a really tight one. I do my shaving, come a little closer. I do all my shaving in the tub because it is a messy, it is messy. So, and I just do what I can in the tub. And you want, you want lots of conditioner, and you want a pretty wet dog, because it makes it go easier. You're over talking to me, babe. <laughs> so you just do that for the whole entire dog. You do some really tight mats. I'll have to go with a different blade there. But that, that's okay. I'm trying to save the most amount to see what home attachment I can do on her. And like I said, I will try to remember to do a photo of her all dried and fluffed out so you can see exactly how much hair this three blade is going to leave for me. So when I get to a spot like this, this is really, really thick, I'm probably going to jump over to a four blade. And yeah, that's a wide, but normally I'm doing this on much bigger dogs. So I'm going to switch over to... A wide four, and that should get this part a little bit more. So yeah, those always necks are really hard, but they won't ever really notice when you go short. Yes, my dear. Yes, yes, yes. And you just work it through. Now, I charge accordingly. I do charge a lot extra for this because I am possibly ruining my blades when doing this. But if you are really good and quick after you do this, you will just go again really, really hard. Don't panic and try to stay in one spot too, too long. be going down with the next blade lower which is still going to leave just quite a bit of hair so it's it's one of those things you learn to uh, adapt when you're doing this um, I wanted to do a three all over but not all these mats are going to let me obviously we can always go shorter on the neck and we can go shorter on the butt and they aren't going to notice because it'll fit right into a nice fluffy coat because you already tailor those shorts so I'm going to let you go and I'm going to finish doing her and I'll show you what she looks like afterwards.
Okay. So, these are the blades that I used to do a wet shave on her. Now, the way you want to take care of them is quickly, okay? You don't want to let them sit too, too long. Yes, I'm rinsing them off with water. If you want to get the residue of this conditioner out, you want to get all that wet, loose hair. That's why I have to re-wash the dog afterwards. Because um, you want to get all that hair and everything off of it. So all I'm doing is just rinsing because the blade is still, still wet from me doing it. Okay? The next thing is, you're going to towel dry them. Let's turn this over this way a little bit. Oh. So, you're just going to towel dry them. So, I ended up doing a three on her body, a four halfway down her butt, and a four somewhat on her neck. And then I had to finish with a five uh, on a few little spots of her neck, a few little spots on her butt, and her whole belly and everything. Um, I was able to get a four down her legs, um, so that gives me a couple different lengths to work with. I'll dry her again and I'll show you. Okay, so after you have done that, you're going to want to blow dry them. Okay, so bear with me, you're going to see this. soon today. Do the typical push them all the way over, okay? So, and you're going to lube them. You're just going to put tons of oil on, on it. You want oil all over it. On the front, and you're just going to kind of rub it all in. So you want to oil them really, really good after this, and then just let them sit off to the side. I have special, I have set blades for this, um, so that this is also why it takes so much longer to do a wet shave. Some people would just rather just zip it off with the five or seven. Um, that's up to you. But if you're like me, I like to offer some, uh, a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm trying to use? Variety. I want, I don't want to be the groomer that just shaves them down. Okay. We all get that. The last groomer just shaved them down. But if they are a loyal customer, like these guys, they diligently come every time, it just happens this one time didn't work um, out with our scheduling to get her in when she needed to be done, um, then, I mean, we, we kind of, we both knew, the owner and I both knew that she was going to be mad at when, um, when she came back. So this is a special case as to why I'm doing this. It's not, like I said, I don't offer this to first time clients. They get the full 7F short um, treatment. They don't get any special treatment. They have to be with me for quite some time before I offer this to them. Um, now, as to what I'm gonna charge, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't told the owner yet. So it's one of those things where um, generally I charge my time. Um, I have charged basically the groom price and double that on someone that I really didn't want to do this on. Um, they refused to pay it because they thought that that was too outrageous and they were lucky enough that I was able to save some. And that dog doesn't come to me anymore and I've seen it around town shaved naked all the time because the person that they take it to doesn't know how to groom. Um, they are just backyard whack and hack jobs or they do it themselves. Um, these are people with a golden doodle that used to say, I want a fluffy. And I took it down. Similar to this, I actually had to go a little bit shorter because she was way more matted. Um, and uh, they were, you ever get to a point where sometimes they're really, really hard. You want to be careful because you can cut yourself. 
get a towel or something, you can push that blade over. And when I say push it over, this is what I'm doing. I'm pushing it all the way over. Not so far that it comes out, because that's the last thing you really want to happen. And, like I said, I'm just putting oil all over this. Because the last thing you want is your blades to rust. Um, depending on who you take your blades to, um, to do this, you don't want to send rusty blades to a blade sharpener. They absolutely hate you for it. <laughs> or at least I know that mine would. So, we will. So now they, those are all covered in oil and they're, they're really, really oily. Um, they're just going to set off for the rest of the day. I don't have plans on using any of them. I've got other ones to use. And let the metal soak the oil up. Yes, the metal does. Metal is porous. It will pick up and soak that up. So um, to really take care of your blades, oil them every night, clean them every night, and I lather them with oil and then let them sit overnight or even over the weekend, depending on how long I'm not grooming next. And next thing you come back, it's almost like having a brand new blade. So if you ever have a blade that's not cutting right, not um, feels dull, but it was just working and it kind of works, soak it in oil and see how it goes the next day. It does not always fix the problem, but it's a good solution to start with. Um, it's an easy fix you can do as a groomer. So, but let me dry her and finish her and we will, you can see what I have. Hey guys, so she's washed and dried and I'm gonna start grooming on her, but just wanted to show you, it's not a pretty cut. That's not the idea of the wet shave. The wet shave is just to get the matte piece stuff off. So, as we can see, um, she's a little shorter here and she's a little shorter up around her neck. Her main body is about uh, 16 mil mils um, or 5 eighths. So that's just enough to where that would go over her. I will probably go down to about this length on her um, all over just to make it nice and tidy so that would drop it down to about half an inch so i'm only going to take another three mils off um where before i wouldn't be able to even do this um even if i tried to do it all dry i would barely be able to probably get a four over her um that'd be something like this or um depending on certain areas i'd probably have to go down to um this dark purple comb which is about a quarter inch um or six mils so I'm capable of leaving a whole lot more hair on the dog. And again, I do this for my old faithfuls, my clients that, you know, God forbids an emergency happens, they have to cancel their appointment, it was a long time, they were sick, it, th there's certain reasons because she, they're always on my books every eight weeks. Um, she's gone almost 20 weeks, so nearly five months this time just because of the way things have worked out um, so and again I wouldn't offer this right off the bat to a first-time client that's bringing a matted dog and say I want a fluffy no <laughs> if you do decide to do that I would recommend that you literally take whatever price you charge and charge it again and then maybe add a little more on top of that because you do not want to have to do that to that dog every time because they're going to expect the fact that you're going to be able to leave it fluffy. Um, so in that sense, you do, you charge double the groom plus half the next groom. So three, you're charging like two and a half grooms for that one dog. If that's what you're going to do the first time, because I guarantee it, they're going to go another year or six months and expect you to do it again. You don't want that. Um, you want them to know that you can do it at a lower cost when they come in more often and still charge accordingly on your own prices. But I think with this one, because I'm probably gonna charge her about the cost of what it would take to sharpen those um, one, two, three, four blades. I use four blades on her. My uh, guy charges um, about $10, 10 to $12, depending on how many blades I send. So I'm gonna charge her 40 extra dollars is what I'm going to do. Um, to go get those blades sharpened, but I probably can still get a few more cuts out of them. And that's sort of where I make my money, is I charge them for every, all the blades that I use trying to get and leave as much hair as I can. 
um, especially in that kind of circumstances because it does put um, your blades at risk of rusting if you don't take care of them right away, um, let alone the fact that uh, it takes a little bit. And she's not done all with a number three like I wanted. She is done with a three, a four, and a five. Um, and I didn't touch her head. So you, you can see I've got quite a bit of hair to work with and get a nice shape without shaving her down naked to the skin. Um, so that's what a wet shape is. A wet shape allows you to leave more hair than what those blades originally could do because, again, you have that matte and everything on there and with it being wet, it kind of shrinks up a little bit more. You know, you can get it farther away from the skin and then with the conditioner and everything like that on a clean dog, that acts like your lubricant. So when you run those combs through that mat, it pushes it a little bit more before it cuts. So you get like a few more millimeters out of that hair before you actually cut um, cut it off. So that's how you can push those, those mats down a little bit more. Plus, you can spot shape it if you wanted to. Um, she just had a few mats here, here, and here. Um, I just do the whole thing. And I'm not going for pretty. I'm not going for... Um, perfect. I'm going for just get it off so that I can wash and brush it out. Because a few knots that she had in her ears and her tail, um, she's got some knots still on her belly down here. I'm not going to go down there with that. I'm just going to leave it. I'm gonna, I'll shave it out anyways with a 10 or a 7. Um, so there's a 5. You can see what I've done on her belly. You're a talker, aren't you? Um, and you can see I only really got the hair that was matted. I was not going for perfect because everything else was able to be brushed out and real quick and easy. It does add more time to your, your whole grooming process. Again, that's why you need to charge more for this. It is not a process that I like to do very often, um, but it's a good skill to have under your belt because you can hold those people, not ransom, um, you're going to get more of your doodle people wanting to come in and go, I don't want them changed. My last groomer shaved them. Yeah, we know. Um, we all know why, too. I back up most groomers that come to me when people say, Oh, the last groomer shaved them. I can see why. And I defend that groomer. I do not bash them. Um, because I've had dogs come to me, and I'm sure I've had them go to my friends, and they go, Um, Jenny, we got this phone call that they're complaining about you shaved this dog. I said, Yeah, can you see why? Yep, we see why. And they defend me as well. This is why I love groomers over here in Australia. They really, really um, stick together and everything like that. So that's where it's one of those things that I, I back up groomers. There are occasionally where I just bite my tongue and don't say anything because that's the best thing, even if I do not approve of what was just done. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to show you guys, and again, I will show you a complete after so you can get a good sense of leaving, doing this is going to be on a judgment based based phone call, or not phone call, but groom. You're going to um, pick and choose who you do, because some dogs just aren't um, qualified for this. They are literally just get them done and out. Um, she's still a puppy. She's about a year old. Um, and this is the first time she's ever been matted, so this is why I'm opting to do this to one of my old faithful clients, because I've been doing that dog for the last four years, five years, something like that, and this is a new addition to them. So, again, he's never really matted or tangled. Again, they've had to go to another groomer, and um, they weren't satisfied with what they got, and this is kind of what has happened. So, we... We will get them all groomed and cleaned up, and I'll show you the after. Hi, baby. Good girl. This is her after I've groomed her. I ended up doing the, the orange half-inch comb. I've pulled and cleaned her ears, so that's why she's doing that. So, it's your mom. But, you can see we got a nice, nice little coat on her. She's not shaved, and... Anyone brings you a dog that's matted, they're going to be happy not to have the dog shaved. They're going to be happy with this. I would, and if they want to be bitchy and upset about it, then by all means, they can uh, just go somewhere else. <laughs> but this is her 
afterwards. Good girl.